Well, veto in hand, David Cameron meets his fellow European leaders in Brussels tomorrow, insisting on a freeze in the new EU budget. The German Chancellor, Angela Merkel, warned today that a deal is unlikely this week. And indeed, there are signs that Europe's most powerful politician is losing patience with the Prime Minister's Eurosceptic demands. Our political editor, Gary Gibbon, has been to Angela Merkel's hometown, even speaking to her old maths teacher, as it happens, to find out what makes the famously undemonstrative politician tick and how she might react to a Cameron handbagging. She's trying to save the euro while keeping the right side of German public opinion. And if that wasn't enough, Angela Merkel thinks she has another mighty crisis coming into view. A growing sense in Germany that Britain could leave the European Union and do it quite soon. People think that the UK might be close to leaving the European Union. Um, you know, that it is out there and um, it is not something that goes down with a shock. North of Berlin, in the old East Germany where Angela Merkel grew up, they're road testing German cars and trucks. For 40 years, though, this site served a very different purpose. This used to be the longest military airstrip in Europe, a vitally important Soviet airbase packed with bombers targeting Western Europe. And just over there, the other side of those woods, the young Angela Merkel grew up in its shadow. Templin, a quiet town in a security state. But Angela Merkel was born in West Germany. Her father, a pastor, emigrated here with his young family when just about everyone wanted to go in the other direction. Angela Merkel's old maths teacher remembers a gifted mathematician, always methodical. The woman world leaders struggle to read, learnt to keep her thoughts to herself in a communist state. She plays her cards close to her chest. Is that the Angela Merkel you remember from school days? Yes, you could say that. In order to make her way in East Germany, she took part in all the compulsory events at school but never in the front row, rather holding back, always reserved, judging how far she could go in order to get her way. It was a totally ideologized uh, um, society there. And uh, if you have a look at uh, Angela Merkel of these days, she's totally pragmatic and totally against every ideology. Angela Merkel is very much a product of the old East Germany that she grew up in. She has a much more Atlanticist outlook than many German leaders of the past, a much less romanticised view of the European project. But the pressure to keep the Eurozone afloat means that she finds herself pushing harder and deeper for European integration than they ever did. And she doesn't appreciate people getting in the way. President Hollande now knows what that feels like. You get shunted out of the way, not shouted at, when Angela Merkel's unhappy. David Cameron got a taster of this approach ahead of tomorrow's summit to agree the EU budget. It emerged that Chancellor Merkel's asked Brussels to see if a British veto on the budget could be simply ignored. Do you think we could expect um, more little um, moments like that? Europe under Chancellor Merkel's leadership trying to find ways of getting sure. things done. Merkel wants Britain. to get things done. That's her way of being pragmatic. We need to get things done. We don't have time to discuss, you know, what might be another way of integrating the United Kingdom. If there is no constructive engagement on the side of London, you know, there is limited uh, uh, patience here. Großbritannien immer sehr Britain is always very individualistic, massively self-interested. It's not necessarily a bad thing. But if you only ever act like that, without thinking of the whole project, people get quite angry. I will ask the um, inhabitants of this wonderful island that you can be very happy, but um, you won't be happy if you're alone in this world. Angela Merkel at the European Parliament two weeks ago warning the British people not to slide to the exit. Her allies in Berlin say David Cameron's call for repatriation of powers from Europe is unachievable and will simply add to anti-European feeling in Britain. Europe is not a multiple choice event. We uh, only to do uh, uh, Europe uh, and to feel it like a cherry picking, that uh, will not be very helpful. Here people will uh, uh, be baffled and say, well, you're on a different planet, really. It's not on the cards. I don't think this government would be open for uh, negotiating a sort of deluxe uh, a free trade uh, area with the United Kingdom. Uh, I don't think so.
Angela Merkel is the politician who came in from the cold east and then mastered democratic politics in a unified Germany. Angela Merkel's critics accuse her of being relentlessly tactical, not visionary about Europe, always thinking of where German public opinion is. Well, she certainly proved a good judge of that. The polls suggest that she will be re-elected in next autumn's general election and continue to be the predominant force in Europe that other leaders, including British leaders, have to deal with for years to come. You know Chancellor Merkel well. Surely if Britain just keeps pushing and demanding and being difficult, they'll push her too far. She, she will just turn around to Britain and say no more. She would never put it that way. She's the head of government. She would never phrase it like that. Not in public. The pragmatist from the East flips policy with ease. She became a European integrationist by accident under pressure from the markets. Some around David Cameron think she could in time flip again and concede his demands. In Berlin, many insist it's gone beyond that. The details on closer union are blurry, but the direction is set. This week's summit in Brussels could be an indicator of who's got Angela Merkel right. Gary Gibbon, Channel 4 News, Berlin.